Good evening. My name is Salud, and tonight I have written another adventure for you. You're a diplomat for the Empress, traveling back to the palace when you suddenly become injured. Fortunately, you're found by a skilled healer. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can be notified when I've written another story for you. Now, please focus on the sound of my voice and relax. Let's begin. You tilt your head up to better feel the sun on your face as you and your horse leisurely travel down the road. Your velvet riding jacket is just warm enough for the spring breeze blowing through the valley you're leaving, and you feel a bit like a sunflower as you stretch your neck up and up, smiling as the warm rays hit your cheekbones and tickle your eyelashes. There are three green apples in your saddlebag for your horse, and you keep an eye out for places to stop and picnic so you can both have a snack. You enjoyed fine food at your latest stop on your journey. Your mouth waters at the memory of the truffles and wine. It was a diplomatic meeting with a powerful lord. You were pleasantly surprised by his willingness to listen to the information you brought from the Empress, and he assured you that the rumors of him overtaxing his population were just falsehoods. Your report on the encounter sits in your saddlebags as well, detailing a pleasant and accommodating dinner. Your thoughts are interrupted when you feel an unpleasant gurgle in your stomach and a strange numbness in your hands. The reins become difficult to hold and your vision swims. The spots of sunlight filtering in through the tree leaves become blurry and vibrant and with a groan of protest, you fall from your saddle and on to the ground. The last thing you feel is your horse nudging you at your back before everything goes dark. Moments, or hours later, you open your eyes and groan. There's a warm feeling in your torso that spreads to your limbs, tingling and pleasant. It settles into your skin, like a peaceful current running along the inside of your head. Gradually, your senses turn on one by one and you become aware of your surroundings. There is a heavy, comfortable blanket spread over you. It smells vaguely of vanilla and spices. You hear horses and a carriage carrying you forward. When you open your eyes, you see a woman leaning over you her long white hair forming a curtain that blocks out the sunlight streaming in through the carriage windows. Her eyes are gentle, and the symbol of her holy order is worn around her neck. A soft, ethereal light glows from her hands, making her appear as if she's lit from within. Hello, my injured diplomat. Please be still. Organs are such delicate, hard-working things, and it's best not to move them while they recover. 
No doubt you have questions, and I will do my best to answer. But for now, please know that you are safe, and your horse is with us, helping pull the carriage. It was doing its best to wake you when we found you on the side of the road. The poor thing. Huh? How did I know you were a diplomat? Forgive me. I looked through your bags to see if you had medicine. A common precaution when finding an unconscious person. I found the letters bearing your seal. I promise they are still intact, and you will be able to see for yourself once we arrive. Now, since I have answered your question, will you please do something for me? I'm going to put my hand on your chest. Take a deep breath. Yes, thank you. In through the nose. Feel your chest welling up. Good. Now a long, slow exhale. Excellent. Hmm. As I expected, the problem was with your digestion and not your lungs. Can you tell me about your last meal? Hmm. I see dinner with a noble lord. Which noble lord? Oh dear. What did you have? Roast swan stuffed with truffles. Well, that's quite rich, but it's not going to cause any damage. And to drink? A red wine. Think back carefully, please. Take another deep breath and focus on the sound of my voice. Think back to your meal. Envision the candles on the table, the smell of the food, the lord you dined with as well. Are you there? Good. Did the Lord drink any of the wine, or did you see his glass refilled? Did the amount in his cup change as the evening progressed? Oh, you poor diplomat, I see your eyes growing wide with realization. I am sorry, I believe you were poisoned. It was a cunning plan. You would have died on the road, far away from his home and dinner table. It is beyond fortunate that you were found. It's amazing how often evil is undone by simple acts of kindness from strangers. There will be consequences for your would-be murderer. Together, we will make sure of that. I am witness to your poison, and the word of my order goes far. This is no simple food poisoning, but truly an assassination attempt. And you have the ear of the Empress, do you not? Good. It can be terrifying to learn that someone tried to bring harm upon you. Shining a light on your story and what happened to you can stir up a lot of feelings, but that's what light is. It shines on everything, not just what we want to see. Justice will be served, and I will help you. But now you must rest. The work of good people demands good care. You have been an excellent patient. 
Already there is a bit of color returning to your cheeks and a bit of humor in your eyes. I am proud of you for enduring what you have with such grace. Close your eyes and soothe the skin between your eyebrows. Let the magic perform its duties. Can you feel it? It's coursing through your flesh, healing and remedying your hurts. It is more effective with sleep, dear diplomat. Keep your eyes closed and breathe deeply again, just like we practiced. When you wake, your horse will be delighted to see you, and we will share a meal that isn't poison. I want to know you. I'm certain our meeting was no accident. I promise I'll be here when your eyes open again. Just rest. Just breathe. The end. Thank you for sharing your time with me for listening to my story and for giving me a reason to write it. Rest is so important, so if you're hearing me now, I'm sorry you're still awake. Do you think another story would help? I'm going to leave two linked afterwards that I think you might like. I'm sorry to ask this, but a large portion of the people who listen to my audios aren't subscribed to my channel. If you enjoyed the sound of my voice, would you please share your time with me again by subscribing and ringing the bell? Thank you, and take care. Good night.